She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. Hi. I wish I had more time to spend with Quentin, but I can't be in two places at once. We haven't been able to crack that one yet. Excuse me. I used to work exclusively on the synth projects, but well, lately I prefer that less was productive. animated pursuits. One day, I'll design a more efficient reactor to replace that old clunker in the basement. Oh, it's you. You're not authorized to be here. Authorized to be where? What is this place? You're standing in the Advanced Systems Division, and you, you are not a part of my staff. If you want a tour of the place, why don't you ask Father, seeing that he's apparently given you the keys to the castle? Now, can I get back to work? What are you working on? Oh, <sighs> there's no getting rid of you, is there? You're obviously here for a reason, and you've already spoiled my experiment, so you might as well spit it out. You're the scientist. Why do you think I'm here? Well, let's see. A Brotherhood of Steel airship arrives in the Commonwealth. You find a way to intercept our teleport signal, and now you show up at my door. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. Why would we want you dead? I did some pretty sensitive work for the Brotherhood of Steel. Even though Lyons let me go, there were a few others in the ranks that thought I knew too much. That's why I came to the Institute. It was the only place that I thought I'd be out of the Brotherhood's reach and still be able to do my research. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say, and then leave me alone. Are you happy here? You'd think being surrounded by cutting-edge laboratory equipment and some of the greatest minds the world's ever known would be enough. Only problem is the lack of transparency. I don't think we get the full story on everything that occurs down here. What does that have to do with why we're talking? The Brotherhood needs your help, Doctor. Needs my help? Why? They seem to have everything under control when I left. Did you abandon any projects you wanted to complete? You should know better than to ask me that. If they didn't tell you what I was working on, they didn't want you to know. I'm certainly not going to put my neck on the line and spread their dirty little secrets. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? I give up. What would it take to convince you? All right. I'll play your game. I had a colleague down here. A Dr. Virgil. Several months ago, there was an accident in his lab, and he was killed. I wanted to help with the investigation, but Father had the laboratory sealed, saying that it was contaminated. The incident never sat right with me. The more I asked about it, the more I felt like Father was deflecting my questions. If you bring me solid information on what killed him, I'll take it as a favor from the Brotherhood and consider your offer. Do we have a deal? I already have something that might convince you. How did you... Never mind. Just let me see what you've got. I'm afraid it's bad news. Since when do you know what I consider bad news? Just let me hear it. I'm gonna make sure the whole program is shut down. If not for good, then at least for years to come. After that, I know what I'm about to do reason he'll probably call it so i'm leaving i have a plan and if it works
works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the coursers can find me. They lied to me. They lied to me, and I didn't even realize how far it went. All those years of loyalty. For nothing. No matter how badly it hurts, you needed to hear the truth. And for that, I thank you. I came to the Institute to get away from the Brotherhood. From the whole world. I just wanted to do my research in peace. Father took me in and gave me access to cutting-edge technology that I only dreamed existed. <laughs> I became jaded. I thought that the Institute cared, that they wanted to better mankind. <sighs> Maybe in their own twisted way they still do. But now I realize if you can't trust the people you're working for, then it's all pointless. If they lied about Dr. Virgil, who knows what else they've been lying about? Or what their plans are for my work? I'll make my way back to the Brotherhood. But I'm going to have to do it on my own. I can't take any chances being seen with you. Tell whoever sent you that they've just regained the services of Dr. Madison Lee. Now, for the sake of keeping up appearances, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. A coarser chip? What's it do? The same thing it does for our coursers. Creates a link to the relay that allows them, and now you, to get in and out at will. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Speaking of, I trust our discussion will remain between the two of us. Now, I need to get back to work, and I'm sure you have other things to do. This is day... Eight of Trial 6. The last week has been very productive, but exhausting. I think we'll need a break after this. Benet has done some really marvelous work with the personality mesh. It's... well, it's, it's almost too good. The responses map almost identically to expectations, yes, some of the most we'll lifelike I've seen. With the latest since. Of course, it's not really Sean. None of his memories are in there. That, even is. now, would be a step too far. It's starting to have an effect on the team, I think. I know I've been caught up in the moment once or twice. Just a second or two, forgetting that he's not a real boy. Yeah. yeah. Still, I think we'll need to consider restricting him to the lab only for the moment. I'm well aware that others are... are put off by his presence. <laughs> if I were slightly more arrogant, I might consider that a sign of success. Excuse me, Doctor. Hmm? Oh, hi there. Sorry if I seem distracted. I memorized five sets of design schematics, and now I'm doing detailed mental comparisons. What kinds of blueprints? Mostly components for a new plasma pistol concept I've been toying with. High energy weapons are sort of a hobby of mine. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I just wanted to say how much I admire Father, and that it's an honor to meet you. I really hope you'll stay here with us. In case anyone didn't mention it, quiet time runs from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Hey, Doc. Since you're new here, you should take time to learn our safety procedures. And the sooner the better. 
Rules create order, and order promotes efficiency. How many rules are we talking about here? <laughs> Not nearly enough, if you ask me. I had some handbooks made up, but that was years ago. I'll see about getting one to you. Uh, how big is this handbook? Just a few thousand pages, but I like to think it's a brisk read. I certainly find it so. Take care, then. <laughs>